City Hospital works with a factory to turn donated hair into wigs for cancer patients. Former Cirque du Soleil dancer Billy Chang performs an island-wide tour of Sutra Adaptation. Welcome to Die Headlines, I'm Siri Su, thank you for joining us. Taichung City Hospital's Cancer Resource Center takes in hair donations. It sends them to a factory that makes wigs for cancer patients for free. Despite the high cost of making wigs, this wig manufacturer is happy to help out, as she sees it as an opportunity to do charity work. This is mm. and now you... I wonder what happened to my hair in a period of 15 days. After I woke up, I lost strands of hair. My three daughters were very worried and they all cried. I told them it was no big deal. Chemotherapy attacks growing cells in the roots of the hair and leads to hair loss. It's a setback for the patients. Whenever someone stares at them, they would have to explain that they are undergoing chemotherapy. A week costs a lot sometimes up to hundreds of U.S. dollars. I spend time to process the hair. The first thing I look for is the right length. Second, if it's obvious that the hair has been dyed or permed, I'll pick it out. We tell the public we need 30 centimeters of hair. I'll separate the hair that is too short. How do we process the wet hair? Well, first dry them out. It is very troublesome because we cannot use wet hair. Wet hair will become molded. Usually, we do not process the hair immediately upon receiving it. For instance, this is wet. You can tell by looking at the paper. We've received such hair before. Once we opened the package, we found molded hair with white dots. We need to tell everyone that they must dry the hair before donating it. We tried contacting several manufacturers and told them we did not have enough money to make wigs. We did not expect this manufacturer would agree to do it for free. Brother, I need to send this package. This is in the box. This entire box belongs to Tsuji Hospital. After I pull out the hair and get rid of the hair that is not usable, there is little hair left. Look, after I pick out the unusable hair, this is all that is left. This is three people's hair, just a few grams. Can you make a week out of this? No, three people's hair is not enough to make one week. How about five people? No, you can only make half a week. Three people's hair can only make half a week. This weighs less than 100 grams. They need to use eye drops. We need to weave them with one, two, or three strings. In the past, we've always hired workers who are 18 years old. They usually quiz by the age of 25 because it hurts their eyes. This wig is handmade. It is permeable and light. It is permeable with high technology. It is very uncomfortable to wear Zylon wigs under the sun. Why turn down an opportunity to help other people? Why have there been so many cases of cancer? The patients need treatment as well as the weak. Without the weak, they cannot face the public. My employees told me, working with you, I can only afford to eat simple meals. I told them, this is charity work, and it makes you happy. During the process of inviting children to donate their hair, we research on the internet and look for places that take hair donations. However, most of them said that they need adequate funding before they can make wigs. Then we've also learned that at Siji Hospital, when they collect enough hair, they'll mail their hair to make wigs. In other words, our donation can be put to good use here. When you see cancer patients pick and choose wigs and when you see them wear it, you'd feel really happy. That's because you've given of yourself. <laughs> you 
In West Java, Indonesia, special forces work with city volunteers to survey the homes of veterans and widows of soldiers. They also came together to make repairs, giving them a safer home. Let's take a look. Rain leaks through this roof as Zhiji volunteers and special forces survey 38 residences for veterans or widows, deciding to repair 20 of them. We are concerned about the welfare of military personnel, especially veterans, so we decided to work with Zhiji. The woman raised nine children single handedly as her husband died of a stroke more than 20 years ago. I want to thank you for your assistance. Because the income I get from my children is only enough to eat in our own use, and I have no money to help my parents. 74-year-old Ida and her daughter lived together as her husband died young. Before when it rained, the home would leak. Now the repairs have been done, our home has become more comfortable. For this, we're very grateful. We have really done a lot of changes to the original roof, which was damaged by termites. Now that we are doing repairs, it is much neater. Working together to make home repairs has led everyone to feel a little more comfortable. The hard work of volunteers has also brought a smile to this military dependent. In Langkawi, Malaysia, there's a Tsuji care recipient family. The couple contacted Tsuji because they didn't need financial support for their ill son. Even though their son Elman suffered from illnesses, he had a passion for recycling. Unfortunately, Elman passed away in an accident in 2017. Walking out of the sadness, his parents continue his recycling mission to help save the earth. Taking a walk in the morning with a plastic bag and rummaging around in a garbage can, this is the most important work for Abrazak in his daily life. Sampah, dia ada macam-macam. Tapi kalau kita nak kempen alam sekitar, there are a lot of items that can be recycled in the trash can. Doing recycling is our priority, so we don't really care about the odor. People nowadays are producing more and more trash. However, if we can sort it properly, we can reduce the amount of waste. This also benefits the earth. After collecting recyclables in the morning, Adraza continues to source recycled items in his wife's shop. His determination in doing recycling has been inspired by his son, Ayman. Ayman suffered from congenital heart disease and scoliosis. Adrazak and his wife contacted Tsuji because they were in dire need of financial support for their son's medical expenses. To help my son treat his illnesses, I work very hard to earn money. However, his surgery costs were extremely high. The strong bond between mother and son was forever cut off by an accident in May of last year. Therefore, Abrazak and his wife decided to turn their love for their son into efforts in helping more people in Mother Earth. Yeah. Before, if Elman wanted to buy something, he would find ways to make money. For example, he would go outside on his bike to collect recyclables. This bike was one of the things that he wanted, and he bought it by selling aluminum cans. The spirit of Ayman will always be with us. Now that we can help other people by collecting recycled items, we also feel very happy. In addition to Abrazak's family, their neighbors and relatives have also joined them in environmental protection efforts. They do recycling not only by themselves, but they have also invited their neighbors and people they know to join the efforts. For them, it is not only a charitable work, but something that can help save the earth. Although the Elman is no longer with us, our recycling mission has bonded us with Siji again. We feel that Siji volunteers are just like our own family members. In Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Tsi Shao has participated in the news anchor experience class. From using a camera, conducting interviews, to news broadcasting, the Tsi Shao has got to experience the process of a TV news production. First time as an anchor, the Tsi Shao was inevitably nervous. However, he was still able to get his words out. In this class, the students learned how to report the news.
This is a way to let the Tsuzhaos really experience what group living is like, how to problem solve, and to take the positive side out of the situation, teaching them how to handle some minor conflicts with others. That's why we came up with the idea of letting our Tsuzhaos practice being our media team. They will conduct interviews, write script, edit, and then become an anchor. Using the smartphone as a camera, the Tsuzhao became a small reporter and learned through doing. The most challenging part was coming up with interview questions, because frankly, many times we don't have a clue what to ask. We also don't know what kind of questions she will answer. In this group learning environment, I learned how to coordinate with my team members. Teamwork is the only way to make a task better. Desmond Ma, who is studying at the Tsuji University Department of Communications, came and mentored the Tsuzhaos in his spare time. He also assisted in setting up a temporary anchor station and shared the influential power of the media with the young trainees. I think we can use the power of the media to document and teach the younger generation about positive influences. It can be passed down from generation to generation. I hope that positive media can be mainstreamed as we move forward. Experience being a media person for a day was an amazing way to see just how much potential children have. Each child has learned just how powerful media is. It's a tool to spread positive messages worldwide. To mark the auspicious 7th Lunar Month, there's an island-wide tour of Sutra of Profound Gratitude Towards Parents Adaptation Performance. Former Sukha Disole dancer Billy Chan leads the audience to deeply understand the Buddha's compassion. Here's a sneak peek. When practicing, Billy Chang seems to just go with the flow. In reality, every movement is precisely calculated and full of strength. When I rehearse, I feel that there is no absolute answer to anything. There's no absolute good or bad, neither. However, it's between the struggle of good or bad that we are living our lives. We are creating meaningful moments and the reasons for us being here in this world. This is the lesson that we must learn. Life philosophy combined with dance, this is how Billy Chain prefers to showcase himself on the world stage. This time through sutra adaptation, he's bringing the audience on a journey to understand the love of animals, humans, and Mother Earth. In fact, all it takes is having a compassionate heart. We have all been waiting for this moment. When we are performing, we are showcasing the progression of life itself. However, in reality, every one of us has already been acting a role ourselves. Life is a stage. You choose what role you want to play. The three performers are acting as one entity. They fully understand one another's rhythm and flow. In fact, this is actually the first time that the other two dancers are performing with Billy Chang. After working with Billy Chang, I feel like my body has been unlocked and filled with endless potential. He is idol status. He has so much experience in the dancing world, and his professionalism is all built from years of hard work. He is someone that we can learn so much from. His story is very inspirational. The White Sleeves, the explosive debut scene. Billy Chang once took the lead role in another sutra adaptation show, where he felt deeply the true meaning behind the performance. Dancing and performance as a whole is not just for entertainment purposes, but it's a way to share the deeper meanings behind the sutra. Each movement and lyrical phrase is filled with wisdom for the audience to reflect on. The dance movements show strength and beauty, and the combination of dharma and wisdom is particularly meaningful. Tugging at everyone's heartstrings again, don't forget that at one time or another, we we're all once a disciple of Buddha. Ling Youming and Wang Jinkai, members of the Kaohsiung Jingzi drum team, work in their own family businesses. Due to their young age, they often have conflicting views with their families. However, since participating in the sutra adaptation practices, they have started to learn just how important the value of filial piety is. Visiting the kitchen, 30-year-old Ling Youming is currently in charge of the family restaurant business. I graduated from the National Kaohsiung Normal University Fine Arts Department. I was always interested in art ever since childhood. When I was pursuing my art degree, I knew that my parents were struggling in the restaurant industry. So that's why I came back to help as soon as I graduated. Well, he studied was fine arts, but he cannot just watch the family business fall apart. Throughout the process, there were many struggles between the family members. Since joining Siji Activities, the relationship between father and son has drastically improved.
When participating in the Sutra of Profound Gratitude toward parents' performance, I would reflect on my own attitude and actions. However, I still have a lot of room for improvement. Our business card and logo are all his creations. As for the 25-year-old Wang Junkai, he is in charge of the sales portion of the family business. Despite his young age, he is responsible for teaching the students on the drum team. Before, I would constantly be bickering with family members over work-related subjects. Now I have learned to use what Ziji has taught me. I would constantly remind myself of the four principles, contentment, gratitude, understanding and tolerance. Thanks to the drum team, the two young men are able to easily blend in and better themselves. Participating in the Sucha adaptation, they are able to recognize the importance of filial piety. The NC of a new Dai TV program, Liu Ming, has invited people with disabilities to share their life stories. The program not only gives them a chance to showcase their talents, but also inspires more people through their personal stories. Whether it's playing in the drums, or a song that penetrates the hearts of the audience, these physically challenged individuals, who usually perform on the streets, now have a new stage. The new program produced by Dai TV, Dream Stage, is hosted by Liu Min. Physically challenged people have been invited to showcase their talent and share their life stories. Most of the people who have physical disabilities usually hide from the public. Through this stage and this opportunity, more physically challenged people can gain exposure and showcase their talents. I know that some people benefited from my songs and my life story in terms of mentality. Therefore, I hope I can help more people through performances like this. Guests on the TV program have many obstacles to overcome. This means that communicating before the show can be relatively time-consuming and laborious. I'm thankful that they are willing to come to the show and overcome the pressure they feel. They all hope that they can share their life stories here. The performances you see are their achievements. However, the ultimate goal of this program is to let them find the best way to combine what they want to express and with the stage. More will learn the process of struggle and practice. The variety show designed for people with physical disabilities provides a stage and opportunity for them to make their life brighter and more colorful. In Malaysia, Tsuji K recipient Tao Yuan Sen suffers from cataracts. Tsuji volunteers have accompanied him since last year's flood in Penang. They visit daily to help him maintain good hygiene for his eyes. They also accompany him to undergo the necessary operation at the hospital. Tsuji volunteers discovered Tao Yuan Sen when there was a flood in Palak, Malaysia last year. He was covered in mud. We met him last September when there was the first flood. He is a lonely senior who lives by himself. At the time, his home was flooded. We city volunteers came over to clean his house. When the second flood occurred, it was really bad. So we immediately went over to his house to check if he is okay. Due to him suffering from cataracts and living alone, he is always on Tsuji Volunteer's mind. Not able to let go of their worries, Tsuji Volunteer's come regularly to visit Mr. Tao. They finally were able to take him to go see the eye doctor. They hope their love and care can fill up his void. Many have the experience of booking a hotel, only to find when they arrive, the hotel is overbooked. The reason is, hotel operators utilize many different online reservation systems, but each online operator is independent. Companies have proposed to use a blockchain technology to set up an integrated reservation system in order to avoid such mistakes. Shanghai-based Zhang Zhuohua, who loves freedom, never has a fixed itinerary when he travels, booking a room only after he arrives at a destination. 
When I travel, I never order in advance. I simply go to a place and then book a room. I have arrived at a hotel and they have had no rooms available. For the past two days, the hotel he visited was overbooked, as he was unable to stay there and had to sleep on the floor of the Temple of the Eighteen Lords. A backpacker in was found the next day as he finally had a bed to sleep in. But what is the cause of this overbooking? A hostel industry has been kidnapped by the online travel agencies. They take a very high commission, but we have to work with them to exist because they are a direct source of recruiting customers. Most hostel operators would pay to join a number of different online booking systems to increase exposure and attract more guests. But each online reservation system is independent. Whenever a traveler books at Agoda, Booking.com needs to be aware of the sale as well. If it is too slow, then this could lead to overbooking, with some travelers having no room available for check-in. For example, booking websites compete with each other, so it's not likely to be any cooperation between two booking sites, which may make many hotel rooms become oversold. Seeing the difficulties experienced by the travel industry, Darren Wong, who once worked at Google in the United States, returned to Taiwan to create Alting. Though he is less than 40 years old, he has ambition to use blockchain technology to change the travel industry. Why is blockchain valuable? When compared with traditional databases, they are lower cost. The second is that it is trustworthy and can deliver value. Darren Wong has set up offices in Europe and Southeast Asia this year and also received a 10 million U.S. dollars in funding from Japan's SBI Financial Group in May this year. Media reports attracted the interest of hostel owner Wang Zhaohong, who is starting to use Alting's online booking system integration service. The technology in our property management system is blockchain, but for the user there is actually no difference, as it is all on the cloud and operates like earlier traditional property management system, as there is no difference at all. Huang Zhaohong tried the Alting integrated online reservation system and simultaneously tried other e-commerce systems. He found that the Alting could connect to six different online reservation websites and the fee is only 50 U.S. dollars a month. If using e-commerce solutions can also solve the problem of platform integration, then what is the significance of using blockchain technology? Of course, we don't have to use blockchain to solve this problem, but we have proven that current blockchain technology works. So many people are using it as it can compete and potentially solve problems associated with room bookings. Other blockchain applications include U.S. states Delaware and Illinois who use a decentralized system to record birth certificates. Dubai, the capital of the United Arab Emirates, also uses blockchain technology to issue a driver's license. In February 2018, Tunisia used blockchain technology to issue digital currency e-dinar. Venezuela issued petroleum coin Petro, and Miami issued MM coin. However, the jury is still out as to how blockchain will affect the future, as it offers both promise and uncertainty. In the aftermath of the earthquake in Lombok, Indonesia, city volunteers assessed the damage and distributed financial aid to the displaced residents. Let's pray for their fast recovery. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.